this session by Emma Black from Milton Middle School. Characters. Lyndon goes to public school at 16, suffers from anxiety and depression. Therapist, just out of grade school, uh, grad school, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, relaxed, hates recalling the past. Depression, procrastinator, bully, voice in Lyndon's head. A sad cloud, easily disgusted, annoyed by anxiety. Anxiety is paranoid, a control freak, a voice in Lyndon's head, fidgety. The setting is the therapist's office on a rainy gray day. At rise, therapist sits back to the audience, clearly agitated by Lyndon's words. Lyndon sits across from the therapist facing the audience, frantic, stuttering. Depression sits to the right of Lyndon facing audience, combination of disgust and sadness. Anxiety, sitting to the left of Lyndon, shaking her leg, uh, constantly counting her fingers, eyes darting everywhere. At first, both anxiety and depression are sitting exactly like Lyndon with their legs crossed. I, I just wish my mother would do something right for once, but even if she starts, that won't change the past. Uh, exactly, Let, let's not focus on the past, but the future. Dwell. Think of all those bad memories that caused you so much pain. Don't ever let them go. <laughs> Would you stop? Talking negatively distracts me from, distracts from me. What? It's what she needs to do. It's not like I'm telling her to count her fingers constantly. I have so many things I feel like I, I, I need to fix. Things that I've caused, like, like my unhappiness. Mm-hmm, have you tried talking to your mom? with all her boy toys. I'm lucky if I even see her anymore. Maybe it's not because of the men. Maybe it's probably because she can't stand to be around you. What if she never comes back? Then, you, then you'll then you be on your own with nowhere to go. You should be, you should overanalyze that until your head hurts. <laughs> now look who's talking negative. Very hypocritical, wouldn't you say? I'm sick of all these doctor visits. Medication upping, panic attacks, and lack of energy. It's not fair. I blame it all on my mom. So do something about it. You think I like hearing about your problems? You just drone on about the past with total disregard for anything I say. Well, well it's, it's not, not like, like it's, it's helping, helping me, me anyway. anyway. Oh, God. Oh, God, we shouldn't have said that. And now she's going to get upset and kick us out. So overdramatic. Someone didn't take their chill pills this morning. This, this is the time to panic. Okay, back to me. Let's take some time to sulk on all those wonderful, sad memories that we love so much. Yeah, that's exactly what I think of those times. What's that? More rude comments? Uh, lights down, beat, then lights come back up to show some time has passed in the session. All right, let's try this again. My mother's actions should not and do not affect me. She will always affect you and forever limit your abilities, and you're okay with that. <laughs> Doesn't she, though? I always seem to be in her grasp, like she has something on me. I guess it's better to have a home and suffer rather than be out on the streets. You don't understand the point of the exercise. It's supposed to help you learn to push away all that negative energy. Then wouldn't I just be lying to myself? You, you my, my dear, dear are, are hopeless. hopeless. I just don't understand why kids are so mean. Oh, I feel the tension growing. I'm introverted. I mind my own business, and I stay out of their way. We will always find people that will torment us. It doesn't make it right. They go after people they believe to be weak, but who are really strong. Eventually, those that, pick on, uh, those that they pick on believe that they are worthless and give in to the harsh words people throw at them. We finally learn to stop fighting and accept it. Many suffer in silence, afraid to speak out against the things that keep them from screaming. Only, to, only a few will speak out, but even then, the memories of troublesome times stay with us forever. Wow. wow. Where did all that come from? I, I had no idea. I'm sorry, that was totally out of line on my part. What if she cries? I mean, uh, there aren't any tissues here uh, to give to her. Then we'd be stuck in here with a crying girl. Again, oh. with the dramatics, you might as well just call us Shakespeare. 
Well, excuse me for being realistic. Ah, realistic. You struggled? In silence, yes. I... You wouldn't have known. Keeping it to myself was the one way I could look past it. The one way I could leave that part of my life behind me and take a step forward into the future. That's why I encourage you to stop dwelling on the past so much, because that's what I did, and it almost ruined me. Besides, it's not exactly like you're my therapist. That's kind of my job. Well, still, it might have been beneficial. Look, yes, we've both struggled, but that doesn't mean that you have to suffer for as long as I did. We all must realize that, though this part of our life sucks, it will get better. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. I know this is easier said than done, but you've got to push through everything. And don't give in to those people who are always looking to knock you down. Eventually, you will look back and be happy that you didn't make the choices you wanted to when things were tough. You will have gotten through the pain, found the light, and blossomed into a survivor. And then could share your story to help others in a situation to get through it. It will all be worth it in the end. Just don't give up now. That was actually really helpful. I guess I always focused on who I am, rather than what I could be. Seemingly stuck in the past without even bothering to look at the future. You actually were right all along. Focus on the future, she said. It'll be better. Well, I guess what she said was true. Piers, our job is done here. I guess so. What do you mean? We were never here to, to tear you down forever. We were here to help you become strong. We were, we were always on your side. You were? We must leave now, for you no longer need us. Goodbye. It, appear our it appears our session has come to an end. Just when we were finally getting to the good stuff. I think we've definitely made some progress today. and also like that idea that there's empathy, like that, that someone else is sharing your experience, right? That is helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, the last play was about technology, I think this is about human connection. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I think before she, before the uh, therapist kind of revealed all these things about herself, there's not really that connection there. She was kind of listening to the voices in her head. And when she was kind of vulnerable as well, you know, she made the connection with the therapist. What's coming up? human connection and hope. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I was going for. I mean I I I myself suffer from anxiety and depression and I I always think that it's so I don't know, it's so hard for me when people kind of tend to shy away from talking about the taboo subject. And so I really I kind of wanted to address that in my play and but also, you know, add the humor, um, because I don't know. On that. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, to kind of to keep it a little lighter to show that it can get better. Mm. Which is a lot to tackle in a 10 minute play, right? To have that art. Mm. Like a lot of things happened in 10 minutes. 
I mean, the whole the whole arc. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say I, I guess that therapist should maybe be fired, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> should she be fired? Should she do a good job? Like oversharing or not? You don't know. So confused about. It. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and when I was when I was going through to make edits, I was really I was second guessing myself a lot on the therapist because I I mean I think that. Yeah, she kind of started out terrible. <laughs> but I, I wanted her to, that's why I gave her the background that I did. So it wasn't just like, she's just kind of a terrible person. You know, she has this this story that, I don't want to say gives her the right to be, gives her the right to shy away. Well, I have to say, the therapist feels like maybe she needs to defend herself yeah, or something. I'm, I'm going to call I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> the therapist. <laughs> Uh, I, I I totally agree. The first few times I read through it, I was kind of like, this lady's a jerk, or a guy, or what? You know, the therapist is a jerk. Uh, but I think that it, it's it is not an excuse, but it does show how people cope differently uh, with things like anxiety and depression. And I think a a wonderful message, uh, hope certainly is you know that blanket statement that we can never hear enough of. However, personally for me, you are not alone is one of the most important messages anyone can hear. And I think that uh, tying back to human connection, that you are not alone. You are not the only person that feels that way, and it does get better. And that's okay. It's okay to reiterate that every single day. Um, so again, just the way that people cope with it, they sort of mask it over by being like cranky, like, ah, oh, why are you listening to me? That's not the point of the exercise. You know, I think that's an important point to, to make. I have a question for Emma on yeah. that thing. So Emma, uh, the big thing now on TV is 13 Reasons Why. We, we know that. You've seen it. Did, did that influence you at all? Did it say, I, I want to give a different perspective of how she can get out of that depression and not end oh, in tragedy? Because, yeah. you know, it's a huge, I mean, it's a huge thing now, and it's a lot of controversy about, is this good for kids? Is this not good for kids? And I work with kids, and they've all watched 13 Reasons, and it's coming back. Did, did that affect you at all? Did you think of that project? I actually wrote the play before. I before saw the 13 show. Reasons? Okay. But then, kind of, after watching the show, I, I definitely felt like I secretly was, in a way. And when I, I was making changes to it while watching the show, so there were minor changes, but I think I added some parts um, that I. Um, that I think I, I added things that made it darker to show that you can overcome all of these huge obstacles unlike Hannah. And like, yeah. yeah. Good. I mean, yeah. I think it was obviously a, a more positive outcome than Hannah mm -hmm. and, and wondered how that affected you. Thank you. There are a lot of good comments yeah. coming up here. Unfortunately, they're rolling lower so than yeah. I can get them. Twas, Twas rad. rad is very, <laughs> there's a lot there I think you can I use. I really like the message. It's when you go back to your profession. <laughs> I want to remind you, there, it looks like there's some really thoughtful ones, so I'm so sorry they scrolled down um, lower, but um, remember that these are here for you when you kind of like go back and watch the cold reading again in the video. Oh, 13, 13 oh, Reasons Why is as good as, really good, fantastic. A lot of really nice reaffirming that people enjoyed the arc of the story. Um, any final final comments? We have we have time. Yeah, here. Subject to tackle, yeah, especially in a ten-minute play. I think you did it really well, and I, I think that art is so important, and I think so, it, it, art just connects with so many people, and like I said, really difficult subject to talk about, but expressing it through art. It's a I, really healthy yeah, way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Um, I think that it was really great that you didn't really shy away from the subject because this is something that happens like this is a real life thing and I think it's very relatable for a lot of people yeah. and I just think that that's really great the way that you kind of portrayed it. So you did a really great job. One of the comments that came up right while she was giving her feedback was that I can really relate this to my life. So there was a lot of resonances in this room. Really, really 
people really connected with it. Which is another reason why I why I went this direction. When I started out, I said to my English teacher, I don't want to go dog. But then after, you know, a lot of my friends <coughs> yeah, uh, a lot of my friends um, go through the same issues and I I wanted to uh, that's so normal. <laughs> Um, I wanted to kind of to show the, the it's it is real and it it does happen to so many people. Um, so be Thank you guys. Can we give her a big round of applause?